Ladies and gentlemen, live and direct, the man who dissed Jay Z. <laughs> you remember from our podcast? Wait, what did so I you say? You didn't diss him, but you snitched on him <laughs> that he dissed ET. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. You got is- me and him have had issues because of it. Why? Because he yeah. said he, he likes ET. No, no, no. He says he hates it. Yeah. But he, but he, you know, you snitched on him, and he's and I, I <laughs> e. facilitated e. the snitching. ET's e. really pissed. <laughs> Him and Spielberg had a fight, I think. Uh, <laughs> All right, this is Aziz Ansari, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, famous comedian uh, on Parks and Rec, f- Human Giant, other TV things. Concords. Yep. By Concords. What else did you do? Movies. Mm-hmm. Movies and shit. Apparently, uh, two shows at Madison Square Garden. I'm reading this on this piece of paper that was yeah. faxed over to me. Yeah. Or it was emailed. Two shows, Madison Square Garden, Thursday, October 9th. Yep. 2014, in case people are watching in the future. Yeah. 7 p.m. Show, sold out. So that means you have a nice uh, working class following. <laughs> 7 p.m. Show for the second show is almost sold out. 10.30 p.m. Yeah. By the time this airs, sold out. Guaranteed. Whoa. Facts. Yeah, and the 7 o'clock show. So we're filming both the shows right. for special. And we just opened up a few seats in the 7 o'clock show because we didn't need quite as many for the camera kill. Right. So if, if you can only come to the earlier one, I think there, there's, oh, there's there some there. Be, there should be some for the 7 o'clock. Not a ton, but... Uh, How's the chicks at your show? Um, Hot chicks? I, don't, I think so. I don't really like bop around in the crowd too much. No? I kind of just stay on the stage, so I don't know. You don't, you don't um, walk around and slap high fives? <laughs> no. Uh, you get uh, Hollywood no, I think disease. Uh, it's an attractive, attractive group from All what right. I can tell, yeah. All right, all right. I'm going to read your bio. Well, oh, brother, let's see. This bio is... Let's see how old this bio is. No, this bio is crap. Aziz Ansari debuted his critically acclaimed third hour-long stand-up special, Buried Alive, on Netflix last November. Mm-hmm. Seen it. Very good. Very funny. Thank you. The special was named one of the best stand-up specials of the year by The Onion. Well, you can't trust those guys. Well, the, the AV Club. That's AV Club. The serious part of it. The, uh, yeah. the Onion AV Club. Is yeah. that the same thing? AV clubs like from they're, the Onion. They they're like TV movies. Oh, music, I didn't know that was in the a Onion. Yeah, I yeah. watched AV Club. I didn't know it was Onion. Yeah, AV Club. Yeah. And Paste Magazine. Mm-hmm. What is Paste Magazine? Uh, it's a magazine called Paste. Because <laughs> Paste like sounds white. <laughs> and <laughs> well, not 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 necessarily. There's Paste that are darker too. Darker Paste. I don't know. Paste sounds white to me. Toothpaste, green sometimes, blue. On sorry, co-stars opposite Amy Poehler. Okay. And the beloved Emmy and Golden Globe nominated NBC series Parks and Recreation, which will return for a seventh season. Yeah, we're filming it now. It's, it's the last season. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. They know for a fact. Yeah, we're Why? ending it. Uh, we've done, this is the seventh one. I don't think we really want to do any more. Seven, yeah, seven is a lot. A lot that- but it feels weird because it's not... Some of them have been like half seasons. Yeah, well, the season two was a half season, which is weird. They try to hate on you in the beginning. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, they were a little weird. But, you know, they've let us keep doing it, and this one will be the last one, and I think it, it's good. It's like just the right amount where it's not overstaying our yeah. welcome, and everyone is excited, I think, to do other things creatively, but also sad to leave that cast. I'm sure. Crew, but that, that's one cool. of my favorite shows. Oh, thanks. They have great, uh, great people in there. Thank you, thank um, you. Amy Poehler, she knows me. Yeah. You know you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she knows what I do. Um, I've asked you several times to deliver, deliver messages. I don't think you have. To deliver her messages? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want me to tell her to come on here? I'll tell her to come on. When she you said that last time. All right, well, I'm supposed I'll do to do this. this. Yeah, I'll text her this and tell her. You should do it. You should do it. I do improv at her school, so she should feel somewhat obligated, yeah. you know? Anyway, um, is everything okay? Nothing is okay. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, tonight's a full moon and Mercury's in retrograde, so everything's a little off. Aziz, all right, cool, fair enough. I just want to get through this, and then we'll ask you some questions. Sure. Azari uh, Ansari has landed a book deal with Penguin Press mm-hmm. about modern dating and how the basic issues facing a single person whom we meet. How we meet them and what happens next have been radically altered by new technologies. That's kind of what it's about. Well, that's what it says here. I didn't write that, man. Who wrote this? I don't know. All right. Madison Square Garden, you excited? 
So excited. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. I, I started off doing comedy in New York mm, summer of 2001. And to get to play the garden is pretty insane. And it's yeah. two shows. I'm, I know, right? Really, uh, very humbled by it. Like one show, you're probably like, nah, that's great. One show, and then they're like, no, we got to do two. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, because I wanted to film it, and I was like, but I don't know if we can do two shows. And yeah. Then my booking agent was like, no, we can do two. And really? Yeah. And now it's happening. And now it's happening. Yeah. Shit. I saw you at the cellar a couple times. Oh yeah, what recently? Yeah, not not in the cellar, upstairs. Oh, just hanging out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Upstairs, yeah, and yeah. I'm assuming that's what you're working on for this show, right? Yeah, I've been working on this material for a while, and uh, I've toured it around a lot of places. And uh, so, you know, when you film it, you, you're kind of getting ready to kind of put it to bed. How do you? How do you? Like, when do you write, or how do you do this? With, and be on TV. Like, well, when when do you have time for any of this? Well, um, Parks doesn't shoot for a few months a year. We have a break. And during that break, I usually tour or I stay in New York and, and write stand-up stuff. So I have time then. You like New York to write? Yeah, I can't do it in L.A. Here, I, I don't know. It's just more fun to be here and bop around. Yeah. Uh, in L.A., you're just kind of in a car by yourself driving all over town. It's, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of a little bit lonelier. It's less social. In New York, there's clubs like the Comedy Cellar. There's like areas where everyone just kind of hangs out and it, it doesn't feel quite as lonely right. and boring. You get more of a vibe. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I just, I, I just and I love just hanging out in New York, so it's an excuse to be in New York. You still have a place here? No, I usually just stay in hotels or like sublet oh. a friend's place or something like that. Oh man, you're not by coastal. I, I I'm am by coastal. I am. I just don't have a place. You got a spot. You got billions, right? I don't have billions, but I'm doing all billions, right. Millions, millions. I'm do, I'm doing good. You got millions. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you sold your comedy special for a hundred dollars a pop, and it sold five million copies. That's, that, those numbers are dead on. <laughs> so what's next? You go. You do the garden. Doing the garden. You tape the that. special. What What is that coming out on? Um, uh, not a hundred percent sure. Oh, where. you're still working. I'm just gonna it out. film it and, and figuring out where I'm gonna put it out. Oh, that means you paid for it yourself. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, that's this is a, the symbol for <laughs> make it rain. I don't know if you know. Yeah, that. I'm making it rain yeah. from my pocket into the budget. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the ideally. You're just making it rain and then you pick it back up yeah, in your pocket. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like oh, I just made it rain into the car dealership. And I, that's how I paid for the car. <laughs> so, so uh, the Netflix deal was good though. Netflix is good. Yeah, right. that, they you might go back. Live. Uh, yeah, we could could Talking. possibly do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna pay for it and edit it and be what I what I always done is I paid for it and then made the specials right. and then been like here's what I have who want who wants to get right it. right right and right. then I, I go from there because that's then good I, you have the ability to do that yeah it's you're good. in control yes you're in control creatively there's no one like oh well I think you should change this and like, no 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 here it is do you want to do it this is it yeah somebody was telling me I think it was Tosh or somebody told me that like Lillard like one of the Comedy Central specials. They literally rearrange jokes for the commercials. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of weird. That's crazy. Yeah, that that's another advantage of doing it at Netflix or HBO or something. You just you rock the do, whole thing straight. Yeah, through. you don't have to go to commercials. I, it's so weird because I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Um, and it would be so awkward to have to put in a commercial in in the middle of the thing. Cause or like you who? watch the concert, it's like oh you're like it's like you're there and you're just seeing the full show. I yeah. Can imagine like then it's like oh here's a commercial for Irish Spring. I know, and then it's like who tells how could some it's like rewriting a play or something they just they're like well this joke kind of fits with this joke so we'll move it over here it's not tetris man yeah and then the hour special becomes like 42 minutes because yeah. of commercials and yeah this one i'm shooting i think it'll probably end up being about an hour and a half it's pretty long really yeah it's the longest one i've done wow congratulations man then what's after that? After you do the garden, after you hit TV show, mm, I'm uh, I had that book coming out next year, yeah, and uh, I'm I'm starting work on this other project that's kind of in the early phases that I can't talk about quite yet. Can't talk I'm about really it, right? Excited about it. That'll be good. So you just want to tease us a little, tantalize us. Tantalize is a little teaser. Is it a is it a movie? You can't um, talk about. I can't. It. I can't really talk about. Is it a TV show? Can't talk about. You can't it. talk about it. Is it like a internet? You can't even. I can't say. All right. All right, well then, you it's know. It's vodka. You know what I like about this bio right here? Disease vodka. <laughs> you know what I like about this bio? Print it out. There's a link here. 
Yeah, dude, you printed this out. I didn't but, give this to you. But how am I supposed this to click on a thing? You how do I click on a link? And you're like making fun of it. Like, why are you why are you asking me about this? How do stuff? I click on a link dude, on a piece of paper? Is, you, I didn't bring this to you. Did you, you bring this? No. I walked in and this you, was sitting here. Yeah, I don't I don't print out the research for the host when I, I, I do you radio. Slide, I think you slide like you come in and you slide your bio <laughs> like, like check this you're out. Like, what? Check this is like you guys' is hot ninety seven <laughs> research department. <laughs> French Montana probably left that here. <laughs> Oh, let's talk about rap. Sure. Who's your favorite rapper right now? You, you love know, rap I have, music. I haven't been listening to any no? rap. Not really. What have you been listening to? Uh, I'm fed up with rap nowadays. Really? I, yeah, maybe that. I, I can't take it. I don't know. I haven't been listening to much rap. Not Because you're busy or are you not feeling it lately? Uh, you know, I hear songs every now and then. You know, I don't go out as much anymore. Right. So I don't hear it in the club or anything like that or at bars. And in, in my car, I, don't really, I haven't been listening to the radio as much. I'll just like listen to you know interviews Podcasts. or yeah, I listen to a lot of like uh, just interviews and and podcasts or whatever. So I just haven't been hearing the songs much. My brother's like a huge uh, rap fan, so I'll hear stuff from him like random right. stuff, like random Drake songs. Are you getting Drake older or whatever? And yeah, I'm getting older. Is it like is it the music doesn't affect you like it used to? <laughs> I mean, it's like at a certain point, if you just occasionally hear rap songs, if like if if someone's like playing a rap song, you hear handsome and wealthy, handsome and wealthy. You're like, well. That's great and catchy, <laughs> but I don't know if I really feel like listening to that all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's definitely different. I can tell like the stuff you talked about in the past <laughs> and how stuff how how it sounds now is very different. Yeah, you know, I was, I, I listened to. Uh, I mean, this is old, but I, uh, the the Kendrick album I still listen to every now and then. Yeah, and I think that's really good. That seemed like something where it was like, oh, this guy's like really ambitious and he's trying to yeah, make yeah, an yeah. album. You know, there's not too many. Rappers that do that, I don't feel like. like no, nah, they oh, just make know. songs and throw them out. He yeah. made an album. He made an album. I think yeah. Drake really tries hard to make yeah, albums. Yeah, Drake does too. Um, and obviously, Kanye J, they try to make albums. Are you friends with uh, Donald Glover? Um, I know him from uh, for years, from, from doing comedy in New York. And yeah, like, we see each other uh, every now and then. Like his music? You listen to his music? I don't know his music that well. It's, he's becoming really big. It's weird yeah, though, because I'm a co- I'm a fan of his comedy. Yeah, and then he's becoming like a very popular rapper, like not like a comedian who raps. Yeah, like no, it seems rapper. like he no, it seems like he's very dedicated. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll see clips every now and then, and he's like performing at huge festivals yeah. and stuff. It seems like he's pretty legit. Yeah, you have any jealousy towards him or hate? Who do you hate? Who do I hate? I don't yeah. really hate anybody. No, no hate. It's a good no. I don't really. Is there a, is there a that hate are usually like those bitter people? Yeah, you know, well, not everybody has a little someone is. I got two guys I hate. <laughs> really? I, just two. Like I really try not to hate anyone. There's two guys I hate. <laughs> is there any like um? Do you get like uh? Well, how's the Indian love? The Indian. I, Indian people come out, man. When I when I when I tour and stuff, there's a lot of um, not just Indian people but Asian people, right. and um, I do think there's something to the fact that I don't do like Indian jokes and yeah. stuff, and it's just like, oh, I'm just like a comedian. I'm not like right, an right. Indian comedian. I feel like yeah. a lot of people are like, oh, thank God, like you're not just like doing like Indian you know, accents, Indian voices yeah. and stuff like that, and it's like, oh, this is this is cool, right? You know? But they support though. They support, yeah. It's cool. I mean, I think when not you all, but was with you. I noticed it's not just like there's some Indian. I mean, any race or anybody who does something big, their people follow them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then I there's a lot you, of you Indians. Like to see people like so. and, yeah. I think on a, a certain level, you'd like to see people of your ethnicity or whatever doing well. I think that makes you feel proud. Even yeah. though you, it's it's a weird thing because it's like oh. well you, you know I if I see some Indian person did something really well like those <laughs> you know that kid mm-hmm. like dominates a spelling beer or whatever like <laughs> even though I did nothing they're still like a, yeah that yeah, dude looks kind of like me good job kid <laughs> yeah like I'm Puerto Rican but not like super culturally I'm just like a New Yorker. But when some like a Puerto Rican actor like gets Puerto on, Rican, yeah, yeah, I'm like, Puerto Rican, yeah, man. If yeah. there's like a Puerto Rican guy and he's running for president, you're like, well, let me let me give him a look, <laughs> extra look, a little more inclined to give him a look. <laughs> um, what about are there any? Do, do you have any Pakistani fr- fans? Have you ever uh, met any? Um, you think they hating on you? No, I think it's fine. Okay, because you know, back in the '40s, '30s, it was one country. Sure, yeah, yeah. All right, just letting you know. I don't know if you know about your country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much. I'm sure there's many white people that know. I meet so many white people that have been to India way more than I have. Right? How <laughs> like, many times oh, I went you been? twice last year. <laughs> I've been, I've been like four or five times. In my like life. with family? With family? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. 
Yeah, and like when I go, it's like we're just going to different families' houses and visiting everyone. Yeah. I've never really gone and done a full on tourist type thing and seen everywhere. A little bit, but not. Have anymore. you? You haven't gone. Have you gone as Aziz the comedian? I haven't gone, and I I have some friends that uh, have toured there, and they're like, you you should go. Like you, it would be crazy. Like yeah. you, there's people that would come, and I'd love to do it. It's just a matter of time. It's just, it's hard to find time to do all all the cities. I wonder if you'd be a superstar out there. Um, get mobbed in the street. It would be awesome to tour there. I would still be scared that like, oh, will everything kind of translate over? Cause yeah. You, you know, but that would be awesome to, to tour internationally. Are your parents are from there. Parents are from there, and they they uh, they moved to America before I was born, South Carolina. It's always weird to me when you say that. It's I know weird. it's it's very weird. They're still down you don't there. have an Indian accent. You don't have a Southern accent. I have like a mix of I have a little bit of a Southern accent, and, and then I lived in New York for a while. I have like a bunch of accents mixed together. Like if I'm around people from the South, you'll hear my Southern accent. They'll come out. You yall them. I'll, I'll I'll start yalling. I'll just say biscuits every now and then, <laughs> cream corn. <clears throat> All right, look, Aziz Ansari, that's this guy, uh, Parks and Rec and Human Giant movies. Uh, you can find him at this link here. <laughs> hey. Check out this link. You printed that, to be clear. This is a piece of paper you guys made. I didn't bring this, Listen, so you can make fun of it all you want. I'm not making, fun, making fun of it. Make fun of yourself. I'm not making fun of it. I'm telling people the link. It's HTTP. What is that? What is even <laughs> Is that semi? I don't know. I don't know. Where? Recent interview with them. Yeah, I, I don't know why the person that made that for you didn't just print that article out instead of giving you a link. No, just give me the link. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Nothing. All right, look. Go see him live. Master Square Garden. There's still some tickets just opened up for the 7 o'clock. There's some tickets available for the 1030. Master Square Garden. You know where it is. Where the Knicks play. Go see Aziz Ansari. Uh, he's filming his special. Um... Are you going to show the crowd at all? Because maybe that's incentive for people to yeah, go like, yeah, can crowd. they get in the special? Yeah, they'll be in the special. The crowd's in You're the gonna special. You're going to show the crowd? There's one special Louis did where he didn't show the crowd at all. Oh, no, I he kept the them crowd. in black. Like I was like, that's just disrespectful to your fans, bro. No, no, they'll be in. Yeah. All right. Show your fans. Uh, get them in the special. Can they meet you at all? Are you approachable? Can they come backstage? Um, well, how can we work out a deal? No, not, no. There's not enough room backstage for everybody. Can you introduce? <laughs> can you introduce them to some maybe some Knicks players or maybe Disney on Ice stars? I have, uh, Patrick Ewing do security for the show, so he'll be okay. There. You can look out for Pat. Patrick Ewing's doing security. Yeah, he'll be there. That's 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 a good incentive. He, he I haven't texted him about it yet. I don't have his number either. It's there's a couple of things in the way, but we'll figure it out. No, what, we got what two days? We got two days. Nah, we'll figure this out. That'd be awesome if he came. <laughs> Isn't he a coach? I don't know. I think he's a coach of a of a basketball another, team in a different city. Yeah. He's not in New York. He's a coach, right? Who knows basketball? Who's he coaching? Uh, he was with the Magic. Don't think he's there oh no, they let him go. Yeah. Magic. <sighs> He said magics. You heard that? Uh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. The magic. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to, to oh, no, expose you good. to this ignorance. I apologize. It's fine. Um can you any more secrets before you leave about rappers that we should know about? Like remember last Secret time you snitched stuff? on Jay Z? <laughs> no. It's hard to be that that he doesn't like E. T. I, I I can't think of anything. Any rappers? Um I uh I uh if you name a rapper I can try to make up a fake thing. R. Kelly. I know that's your oh, friend. I talk about too much. I know I don't know him. I never met him. Oh, I thought you met him. I met him like briefly, but I don't. I don't okay. Uh, give me. Uh, come on. Uh, Ty Dallas Sign. Who? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Ty Dallas Sign. Oh, this interview has ended poorly. Uh, I I've heard rumors that Migos are handsome and wealthy. Yeah, both. It's hard to get both. <laughs> Women are always looking for one or the other. I I I was on another radio show and I was saying I wanna I wanna start my own fake Migos group, we make up our own songs. <laughs> I just do the hooks though. Right. So like this is one of the hooks I'm trying to get out there. If any rappers want to get on it, okay. If you want to sample it, here you go. Right. Here it is. And this is like a song. You know, all the songs now are for oh we're out in the club like going crazy. Right. This is a song you play when you're like you know what we're not going out. We're taking it easy. We're grown. We don't need to go to the club. Okay. Lounging, relaxing, sitting in my house. Yeah, I'm lounging, relaxing, lounging, relaxing, lounging, relaxing, sitting on my couch. Yeah, I'm lounging, relaxing. Hey, man, you going to the club tonight? Nah, man. 
I'm just staying in. Oh, word? Yeah. I'm straight lounging, relaxing, lounging, relaxing, sitting on my couch. Yeah, I'm lounging, relaxing, lounging, I'm lounging, relaxing, I'm relaxing. <laughs> but see, that guy, you got hype there. That doesn't sound too relaxed when you yell like that. No, but that's the hype man. He's, oh, he's, like, he's, he's, in the, back, he's like, the one that wants to go that, out. He's back there with like a bag of chips. <laughs> Comedy <laughs> and songs at the garden on the 9th. That's, no, I'm, uh, not doing, I'm not doing lounging, relaxing at the garden. What? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? What's I'm going to talk to him, guys. Don't worry. Aziz, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. 